and the people who control the people who control this country have used that technique. I, you know, it's like when you talk about this, you start thinking about Ezra Pound. They kept him in in, uh, in a mental institution for 13 years without ever indicting him for anything, because they knew if he spoke, he could defeat any charge they brought against him. So they couldn't let him speak. And it's the same with uh, the same with this boy. What he can tell about what happened. Uh, is at all, I mean, it's the same situation at Waco, it's the same situation at Oklahoma City, same situation at 9-11. All of these things are, are, uh, are emblematic of the people who control us. And, 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 and we get back to our earlier conversation about big topics. And who are these people who are controlling us? They're clearly insane uh, because we are presuming ourselves to be normal people who just want to lead happy lives with something worthwhile to do. And they are not going to allow us to do that unless they get to name the occupation and how we do, uh, how we conduct ourselves in that, in that, uh, in that job. And, and uh, I know I don't want that job, and most people don't have any job. Somebody else wants to give them. Everybody wants to do their own job. And we can't do that anymore because of these regulations. Now, now l let me explain. Let me let me let's explain a little bit better of this of this power of insanity. Insanity allows its practitioners the power to control those around them to the utmost degree. Have you ever tried to argue with an insane person? Have you ever tried to reason with an insane person? The insane have no clue about their condition. They operate in a world of their own creation. They see and hear on a different plane of existence than those of us who are seeking truth. And 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 that's really that's really clear. And they what they're trying to do is break up the family. They're trying to break up the nations. They're trying to break this. This is the Tower of Babel all over again. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe it's, it's uh, just the tower it's a message it's a message about alienation uh, they are trying to drive us apart uh, I'm still on the trail of this but one of the great secrets of religion is to have everybody focus on their own individual souls and we see a parallel to that in the science of psychology Freudian psychology where the emphasis is on your own self and nowhere in either of these two things is there uh, an emphasis put on our relations with others as the key to our happy lives? And this is all about alienation. If they get us separated from the people that we love and the people that we're working with, then we're, we're a lot easier to control. And, and that's why this, all this fragmentation is occurring. It's about the people who have the power wanting to scare the shit out of everybody so nobody trusts anybody and they turn to Henry Kissinger's New World Order to save them and that's what's going on right now that's right uh, all those sovereigns out there they're, they're, they're potentially dangerous criminals see what the sovereign did here see uh, 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 and, and the militia well the militias they're, they're bad guys they're just like Al Qaeda they're, they're just like Hamas yeah, yeah, they, yeah. I guess they are, since Hamas is just uh, uh, the people of Lebanon trying to protect themselves. Yeah, I guess that we could be uh, compared to them. <laughs> well, I th you know, when you when you use the word militia these days, <laughs> I've seen enough of the militia now to know that uh, it's a badly infiltrated organization. Of course, it's like so it's, it's like the it's as it's as bad as the nine eleven skeptics group. The, the the whole the whole framework now is controlled by Jews. It I, may have always been controlled by I Jews. I have but no. It, is now. It, it wasn't quite. It wasn't quite. But what they have done and, and are still doing, and they're doing this to Christian identity too. You know, I don't have any problem believing, John, that you and I walked out of a, a, a slavery. Era. No, we're not going to build any more friggin' pyramids. No, we're going to walk out. We're going to cross the Congress Mountain. We're going to go start Russia. We're going to go start Germany. We're going to go start England. And I don't have any problem believing that. But they have sent this Hasbara uh, Israeli funded Hasbara into into the internet into the uh, uh, and they did that in the Patriot movement too. They had the people yeah. that were the the, the Bograiches and I mean you know you can you can say Bograich uh, yeah he uh, he uh, uh, he saved Randy Weaver. You can also say he arrested Randy Weaver for the uh, 
uh, you know, as a counterintelligence agency, which he's a, a lifetime member of, uh, uh, he, he arrested him. You know, so so they have done that. They infiltrated the militia. I used to tell people, Clay, do we? Do you know of a militia we could join? I said, if you uh, if you join the militia, and it's more than ten people, and you haven't known every one of those people your whole life, one of them is a federal agent trying to set you up. And that's what happened in, in, probably, in probably probably three or four, Clayton. Yes, probably, <laughs> probably. You know, and, and and this is the way they operate. It's psychological warfare, and and. They, they've really refined the art of slavery to the slave don't know they're slave. I'm not a slave, man. I can go get I, I can go get my pickup and go get a beer. Watch. This this has bar a principle. Uh, that they're talking about now. We need to explain what has bar is. It's a, it's an outreach program that brings American students over to Israel to teach them the Jewish way of life. Uh, really, the has bar principle has been in effect for longer than we can. Than, than we can comprehend. Uh, I think of the uh, immigration of Russian Jews in the 1880s, where 20, 30,000 of them came into the country and changed the face of the country. Most notably, they arrived just in time to register to vote for Woodrow Wilson, who did more damage to this country than any other single president in the year 1913. When the peace president was about to get us into war, he uh, gave us the Federal Reserve, the income tax, and the direct election of senators, which uh, changed America from a frontier republic into a an incipient virus database has been updated. Thank you, thank you, lady. That is po that is poisoning the whole world. What did she say? Your virus uh, uh, database has been updated. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank, you. thank you. I need. I need that. Uh, All the way to uh, uh, John, uh, somebody on the chat. Uh, has bar. No, you're talking about has bar. Yes. Um, this is a principle. It's a creeping virus that that takes people away from reality and 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 makes them soldiers in this in this. What do you call it? It's satanic. I, uh, I need a better word. It's this. It's mind. It's mind control. It's thinking you can kill somebody else because your God says it's okay. It's pro it's and the propaganda. Whole, the it's whole world is gripped by that insanity. That's the new normal. Yes. That's it. It, it, it just. It, it's almost beyond comprehension. And, and when somebody sees what's happening, like John Kaminsky or Clay Douglas, and we try to tell other people, we're the ones being demonized. I mean, John, they've, they've listed me, uh, trying to make me out as a bigot on the NAACP website uh, from uh, something Southern Poverty Law did uh, eight years ago on me. Well, but I, but, well, let's focus on the fact that the choir is growing. Um, these things are becoming obvious, but the, the whole YouTube lineup, which is kind of replacing the written story now as the chief engine of information distribution, uh, the YouTubes are sensational if you can just get them to your screen where there's no doubt about who our enemy is. And we're sitting in our houses in silence hoping something will change and something will... Uh, something will rescue us from all of these systems that are about to be disrupted uh, for very many reasons uh, and we're, we're still we're still not doing anything about it we're still right. letting the psychopathic criminals who have run this country into the ground remain in control and because we don't know how to stop them but the only way I know how to stop them is just for everybody and I mean everybody to stand up and say this is not America this is some other thing that has been created by the people on Wall Street who own all the presidents and the bankers in London who uh, for so long have funded both sides of every war that has taken place That's right. and every time I say that I think of the picture of Nelson Rockefeller in Moscow delivering Ford trucks which were immediately transported to the North Vietnamese troops 
so they could better kill American soldiers and they could keep that that uh, what do you call that thing it's an engine that keeps running it's like a Mobius strip it's like a uh, uh, a sore that keeps festering where they keep the war going but they have to they have to provide ample supplies to both sides to keep them equal so that the war will go on as long as possible and yeah. as many people will be killed as possible that's right and general general mccain just just make sure those planes don't reach the uss liberty and and and, and make sure your troops don't uh, don't don't go over there into uh, thailand where they're storing all the weapons Make sure uh, you know we 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 got a little rules oh, we got to yeah. follow. We got a little rules we got to yeah. follow, and and oh. and now they uh, you know I've I've also I've always said any time a communist regime takes over a country they go after three classes of people in order they go after the the uh, farmers, farmers first they don't want you to feed yourself that's what S five uh, five ten is all about that's what the that's National right. Animal Identification Act is about that's what the attack on the Gulf our our food supply in the Gulf was about. And it's going to make it a lot easier to kill us. That's right. And and they remember, they, they're not above doing that. They they starved out 60 million, 10 million people in the Ukraine at all. That's like uh, that's like killing 10 million people by starvation in Kansas. That's right. That's right. And, and <laughs> you don't think they're going to try to do that to you folks? Uh, they are doing year, it. Right? They are it's trying. Happening this year. It's happening this year. They're trying to do it. You, there's a, there's a notification that uh, the oh, uh, food's going to go up. You know, there's hunger around the world. You know, ta da ta da ta da. You know, be be afraid. Be very afraid. Don't get out there to your farms. Don't go up to your local ranchers and say, "Can we help you? Could we could we uh, work with you to grow some food here and to produce this? How about how about this neighborhood association getting together and, and putting a garden there?" everybody's backyard and putting wind and solar on, on the roofs of every house like Brad Pitt did in New Orleans. People are doing this. People are waking up. And there's ways to do it. Yeah, the and, 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 but, you know, I went to a meeting last night. There's there's a group that I joined called Sons of Liberty Riders. So oh, what? Sons of Liberty Riders. Now, this is a group of motorcyclists that got together and decided they, they're, they're not a club, but they're just Sons of Liberty. And they're, they got a website and they're well, I went on a ride to meet them the other day, yesterday, and I did. And a bunch of wonderful, nice people about my age, and uh, old bikers, all old businessmen, you know, people have been doing uh, stuff for a while. And, and if you go to Sons of Liberty Riders and read their mission statement, it is exactly what I've been talking about and preaching for 20 years. And I've been yeah. doing, I've been doing it. Professionally, I mean, I, I and I, I, I do it. I do it to make a living. Generally, you know, I've got books to sell. I've got tapes to sell. We're blocked in every library. They are trying to limit us. The same thing that they're doing to Donna Taylor right now. They, they, they're trying to portray her as being insane. And, and oh, she, she, she embezzled all this money that Michael Moore didn't pay him. That, uh, that the uh, lawsuit against the uh, pharmaceutical companies didn't get to, to him. You know, and, and and she's trying to be made. They're trying to make her out in the, in the court papers to get custody of her 28 year old son to get guardianship of her 28 year old son. They're trying to make her out to be insane. They tried to do the same thing to me exactly, exactly, yep. and and ended up running uh, you know my whole family away from me. Oh, he won't take his medication. Oh, you know, he's dangerous. You better get away from him. That could be a good epitaph for your tombstone, Clayton. <laughs> he wouldn't take his medication. <laughs> <laughs> Damn guy, he lived to be 110, man. You're supposed to die at 65. You got one more year <laughs> left, Clay. You know, if you don't die at 65, we're going to break social security. You know? There you go. There you go. And we won't be able to give it, you know, we, won't, we won't, wouldn't be able to give it to all those illegal aliens, you know? Boy, that's a that's a trip. That's a trip. That's a deliberate destabilization of the country. They've used it in other countries, but never more effectively than here. That whole thing started with slavery, where it was the Jewish moneylenders and their Gentile captains who brought the slaves to America and created all sorts of money making opportunities for the brokers. They sold the slaves for like the 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 real muscular ones or the real pretty ones. They sold for like. Two thousand dollars, which was a fortune back then, and then they built an industry that uh, helped 
helped the United States gain its financial prominence in the world. It was based on the picking of cotton. And then they destabilized the country when they brought the abolitionists in from, uh, from Cromwell of England and, uh, and uh, uh, fomented the, uh, the American Civil War. They made a lot of money off that. Then they made a lot of money off liberating the slaves. Uh, even though they didn't really do that. They said they did that, but that's how many of the Wall Street uh, uh, titans like Lehman Brothers got their start by being carpetbaggers in the South and stealing money that way. Uh, so the whole... And God, you, I'm getting lost and, in the and whole you, you, you where, Jewish history of the United States here. And, and you, oh, wonder why the, uh, you wonder why the... Uh, <laughs> well, our heroes are outlaws, you know. Jesse James and now, and now, and now the whole thing has graduated to in all the movies now. The black people are the really civilized heroes, and the white people are the doltish rubes. And this is a perfect example of Nietzsche's inversion of values that scrambles everybody's brains, where you take the least qualified among us and put them at the top to rule everyone else. This is a tried and true formula for the imposition of slavery on a country by a foreign power. It's what the Persians actually did to the Hebrews all those years ago. What was that? What did they do? What did it, the Persians do? It's th they, they dragged everybody out of Israel brought them to Babylon, conditioned them the way they want them, killed a bunch of them, and sent the ones back who were properly programmed to preach the, the Persian message, uh, which later manifested itself as Judaism. You know, what, we, what we're talking about here, thousands, it's been happening for thousands of years. I've said to people often, oftentimes, I said, you know, well, Tell me a point, in, give me give me a date, give me a point in, in history, a reference point in history, when it was easy to be free. <laughs> well, you know, I think when we go back, when we, just when we were coming out of the trees, it was probably pretty easy. But back then, I imagine that it was much more important to depend on your neighbors than it is now. I mean, the, the process of alienation has been going on uh, for in earnest for over a hundred years, ever since the electric light bulb. And and uh, we, are, we are taught from cradle to grave to depend on ourselves, but back then when we're all, uh, when we're all living in, in, in shelters that we made for ourselves, uh, it would have been much more important to be truthful and forthright with your neighbors because you have to depend on them for, for your survival now. We've been convinced that we control our own destiny, and we don't have to depend on our neighbors. All we need is money. Well, if if if, if we did that, this is what has happened to Donna and Mark Taylor. This is what has, and this is what has happened to me. They have taken away all financial support. They've tried to impoverish us. They're stealing money and taking money, using Mark for the government. They're, they're getting gum, uh, money, uh, they're, they're getting paid, these hospitals are getting paid to hold somebody against their will. They're using the courts against them. And, and if we don't stand up and say something, this is just another person gone, eaten by the system, swallowed up in, in, in the equivalent of a, of a modern day concentration camp. There are so many causes now to speak out about. Uh, uh, to really get out in the street and start screaming about. There are so many different things to talk about, and that's why it's so important to make any progress, to get any traction on any of these things. You have to put them into context, and when you put them into context, you trace them all to the same source. This is what we need to wake up to. Now, let me, let me, let me for all our problems. I, I went to this meeting yesterday. I rode 50 miles up and 50 miles back. Uh, to, to go to this meeting, meet those people. We had a nice lunch together. It was really great. And I, I brought the president and vice president out and gave them a copy of the, the last issue of the Free American that I did, showed them all of the books that I've written and all that. But all of the time we were there, with all of those people there, no one, no one came up and approached me 
and said, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, you're, uh, you're Clay Douglas. We've been to your website. We know who you are. We know what you do. I mean, cops will say that. FBI agencies will say that. But the average person out there, oh, we just heard you're a racist, you know. And, and I think I got in a debate like that on their one of their chat rooms right at first and said, look, you know, I put my name and my number up on my website everywhere. Anybody can call me. Anybody can talk to me. And you can check out anything I said. I've been publishing for 25 years. I've never been sued for libel or slander. Now I'm going to take the uh, story. I'm doing the story on, uh, and I've been selling, uh, selling my work to national magazines for 25 years. And now I'm taking a story about Donna Taylor. We're trying to get up people to come up there to uh, uh, Phoenix to protest in front of the governor's office, to uh, protest in front of the hospitals, holding up signs say, Free Mark Taylor. We've got links up on the website. We've got statements of, of everybody about Columbine, everything that's happened to them, and, and what's happening right now. The whole story is up there. The documents, everything has been filed. Everything is in court, and they're going to a hearing on 29th. Edgar Steele is going to court tomorrow, I believe, yep. or the 10th. The tenth, I think. He's uh, he's going to so so we're we're trying to bring all of this to the public's attention because if it's happening to these people, it could happen to you. It could happen to your family. This ain't right. Mark Taylor's never committed a crime, never done anything wrong, and and he's being held. And they tried to do this to me, folks. And if they could, you know, they're, they're it's just a little tougher. You know, I. I but I underwent examination after examination after examination. You know, Mr. Douglas, do you understand why you're here? Frankly, no. Well, you're here so we can decide if you're competent. See, that's why I don't understand. Of course I'm fucking competent. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. How, how'd I do, Doc? Well, you're eccentric, but you're not insane. Thanks. Now, get out of my way. <laughs> you're, you're lucky he said that. He easily could have said something else. Yeah, not 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 within arm's reach. <laughs> I haven't I haven't heard uh, I haven't heard much more about an idea I heard a couple of years ago where it was uh, there was I don't know if this was serious talk or not, but there was supposedly a vaccine that would cure you of anti Semitism. I'm sure they're working on it. You know, it it, <laughs> it, it could be called mercury. <laughs> yep. Or fluoride or television or Lots of other things. Anyway, uh, I prefer to focus today, it's a nice day here in Florida, um, on the fact that the choir is growing. Uh, and I generally view reality in terms of uh, mathematics and in the form of, of a fraction that has a numerator and a denominator. And the choir growing is the numerator the top number, but what is the bottom number is this Cliff High report, where the magnetosphere is decaying, the ultraviolets are going to uh, increase, uh, and uh, we're going to have a kind of a microwave effect. Uh, I, I hesitate to suggest that the way to experience would the way to experience what's going to happen to us might be to put your head in a microwave oven and turn it on, but I, I, I wouldn't want to do that. Nevertheless, uh, there is a <laughs> prediction out there saying that that's what's going to happen to all life on the planet in a very short period of time. So that gets my attention just in a, in a speculation kind of realm. You don't want this to take over your life because if it's real, it soon will. Um, but Cliff High has a, such a, 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 an articulate way of telling us about physics and science and probabilities. And I was having a conversation with someone yesterday about this, and I said, well, Cliff High hasn't really been right about anything. Shows you what I know. This person explained to me that for a year before the so-called oil spill in the Gulf, his... His, his analysis of what his web bot was, was producing was all this talk about danger in the Gulf. And I hadn't realized that until it was explained to me. But what resonates with me about his latest report is I've been a gatherer of information for a long time from 
a lot of various sources and this pretty much jibes with the most likely scenario that I can ferret out. Is and this is there are all these indications of something very profound about to happen from from many different disciplines. There are all of these examples in the world with birds dropping from the sky and fish washing up upon the shore. What about Planet uh, X? That, we'll be talking about Planet X later on in uh, the week here on the evening shows. And by the way, folks, you won't be able to get my evening shows on uh, Blog Talk or uh, or Talk Show. We won't be doing that. I'll be doing them strictly on Liberty and uh, Republic Broadcasting. Going big time trying anyway and oh, good. Uh, good. and and so uh, we'll the recordings will be up on uh, 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 the archives will be up on Liberty Broadcasting Network which I'll be working with say, say hi to John Statmiller for me tell no, him I still love him no no I don't talk to John Statmiller and I don't talk to Alex Jones I'm sorry by the way John John uh, how many times have you been on Alex Jones the show oh never no never I, I I, I intersected with him once on a Jack Blood show, and he was babbling so fast. I had to say, I had to tell him to slow down. Yeah, well, he don't want to hear anything you got to say, and uh, I, I got it up on the Alex Jones Exposed website. I, I got my story about him. I had him on speaking at one of my events in uh, in Dallas, and uh, we were having uh, dinner after the show was over. And I said, Alex, did it ever occur to you that your wife might be your handler? He, he was on network television the other day. Did you see that? No, no, I don't have network television. But uh, Alex never well, talked to me since then. No, I saw the uh, I, I I I saw the video clip of it. I didn't watch the television, but he was on the View with Whoopi Goldberg and and uh, Barbara Walters and those people, and he was passing himself off as a Charlie Sheen expert, and how he was his close friend, and how he was counseling him in his time of trouble. So uh, this is the introduction of Alex Jones to mainstream TV, and he's perfectly positioned to become the next Glenn Beck. Well, he's uh, he's he's smart in his career moves. You know, I mean, I've been told over and over again, Clay. You know, you got you you you're really talented, but if you just wouldn't talk about the Jews, if you just take all that protocols, the elders of Zion off your website. And all of the, that stuff about Zionist stuff, you 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 could do really well in Hollywood. Yeah, well, I I could do that. That's, that's all. That's all falling away. All our foundations are falling away, and we have to we have to grab onto something new. And I I recommend common sense. Uh, it's what we always should have been doing. Um, and. The story I'm working on now is it's uh, it's it's hard to put together because it means so much. But the gist of it is, religion is a science that has been obscured by mysticism for two thousand years, and we have to get back to the principles of religion that allow us to live happy and worthwhile lives, rather than continue cringing in fear to this magic beast that creates things like executive privilege and secret governments and the truths of the world that are kept from us so others can make money with them. That's what's all coming into the light now. And even if the world is going to be destroyed, uh, it would behoove us to know why we were here. And I think that we're still very far from being able to see what the answer to that question is. I think, it, to me, it's real simple. You know, it's why preachers have come up to me and said, Clay, why don't we ever see you in church? I said, well, does, uh, do you talk to God? Does God tell you what to uh, what to say to your flock? And they stutter a lot, and they go, well, well, well uh, yes, yes. And I said, well, me too. So why would I need to come hear your version? <laughs> That's right. And and that's what it is, folks. You all got to we all got a direct link of God. And I I swear to God that from from one years old or, or or even sooner, you know right from wrong. You know good from evil. You can recognize a, a kid can recognize an evil person in a heartbeat. No intermediary needed. That's right. So uh, 
You know, folks, that's, uh, uh, I, and, and you know, I, I need your support. I need your help. I need to be able to sell those some books. I need to be able to reach more people so I can help more people like Donna Taylor, like Mark Taylor. You know, uh, I, I was there when Shirley Allen was, uh, was uh, surrounded up in uh, Illinois. I went there, and I told the people, uh, you know, you need to go get her out. The police don't have any business there. And she doesn't need to be doing that. And 